We're rocking in the RV. Five in the morning. Actually, it's tw actually it's six twelve in the morning. There's a spider inside. I thought that was outside. That was inside. Oh, he's frozen. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Oh, he looks like a crab. He's so big. He looks like a crab. Look at that. Wow. I, mean, I can't get him now. He went in the window seat all the way to the bottom. Okay, guys. Oh, it's, it's so smoky here. Wow. It's parked over here. Oh, come here, Muffin. Muffin, got away, Muffin. There's a big class A that pulls up here. The gas station's open now. Well, the, all the um, semis left. And look at this. I'm wearing my Victoria's Secrets, my pink pajamas. I grabbed the wrong pajamas. And I then forgot that I was going to be at the Walmart. And it was kind of supposed to look like I'm dressed and not wearing little roses. So um, It's starting to get really nice here. The sun's starting to come up over here on the east. And Sasha's got her coat. I'm walking out here in my pajamas and my boots. It's so cold. It must be, I don't know, 40s. Yikes. Yep, that's my outfit. But it's a lot of people here at the Walmart now. Coming out here to walk Missy. And um, I don't know if you can see them, but there's like three sandhill cranes. Christian right. went to get apple fritters because we typed in the GPS, our route. So we want to go... We wanted to eat something on route because they have a subway in here and they don't have breakfast in this Walmart. Look at this cat. I was trying to get in the in the donut box. Get over there. I want to show you the space. As you can see, because I took the big bed out, normally you'd come up on this side here and you'd grab onto the handrail. But because Christian's on this side, he's got more space than I do. I have only this space here, which I really don't mind because I'm slim. That's one of the reasons. But because this way, Muffin sleeps here at night with me here, and she has tended to roll over. But she hasn't done that here yet, so at least it's a security measure for me that she's not going to fall, you know, fall asleep and roll over at night. So, But I'm okay coming up here because what I do is I step here in the step, right? Then I climb on the other one, which is right here. See? This one I also put the plastic on. Um, we actually screwed the plastic uh, carpet cover on here so that food doesn't fall here or get wet on the carpet. And then I just grab onto this. I don't pull myself. I just get up here like this. So, I mean, it's not a lot of space, but it's enough for me to get my legs up. I'm, I don't know how it would be, though, once I had a, 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 a firmer wall in. That's why I'm trying to decide if we want to get a firmer wall or want to stick with a foam type of wall. Or maybe just do a curtain. I don't know. Maybe a lot of people have suggested we just do like a, a privacy curtain. So, I don't know. I don't know if a curtain is going to work for us though. Because of the cat and the dog. They're always at each other. You really can't make a bed. Um, in something so small. It's nice sheets. And that's pretty much it. So, you're not really going to get... Oh, I got to put... Can you help me here? I got to put this down. No. <laughs> stop. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's just hard to, like, not use two hands going down. So, I have to push myself down. And usually, I'll just grab myself and go like this. But the problem is that um, I'm noticing it because I, it's easy because there's a flexible wall here. So, if I bump it, if it moves. But if there was something firmer here, that may be a problem. I may be bumping. It may get loose or something. So, something that we're still debating on what we're going to do. We'll see. Okay, guys. I'm going to get dressed and we're going to head on now. Okay. Hey, guys. I got to turn this way. I got to turn this way. <laughs> I don't know what. The, the sun is hitting me. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we are here. We are ready to take off. This is where my rear view mirror is, where I have the camera. I am able to see behind me with that window back there. I know my umbrella is there because my rear view mirror is missing again because it fell off. This is the third time that I've glued it. And No, I glued, I glued the third it time and it with keeps all the glue. Off. 
and we are heading out of the Walmart. It is cold. It was cold this morning in Darvi. No heat. No heat. The cat's cold. The dog's cold. She's yeah, got her see, sweater keep on. Yeah, going under my comforters. And often, uh, so she's got fur, so she doesn't care. Christian is ready for high for Miami because he's wearing his shorts. But and I, I looked at the weather and am wearing my warm weather clothes. So I don't need gas. I'm doing really awesome with gas because um, I'm hardly using up as much gas as I did with the trailer. With the trailer, I used pretty much my I went from full to empty to Miami pretty much and I'd have to fill up anyway but at this point I pretty much did um, a quarter like a little bit from here to here yesterday because it was halfway did from here to there then I filled it up and I did another quarter so I'm actually saving a lot of money with this contraption than with the with the 28 foot trailer a lot of money on gas which is a big huge difference with the trailer it was pulling the yeah the back. trailer and it, and not only that I also feel the pull um, I have a tow haul option on my truck so um, when I'm pulling the trailer and I'm going up hills a lot of times I have to hit that button to give me more power to pull the trailer even when the trailer was light but with this um, camper I don't have to do that most of the time it just goes up really fine I mean very it's very unusual that I have to turn on the tow haul so I know that my truck is able to pull this um, I don't have any water in here that's another thing I, I'm about 300 pounds under because I'm only at a third water I just had enough to you know for toilets and whatever I needed on the road but um, that's gonna make a big difference too so I haven't filled it yet with water so that could make a big difference on the weight but as far as having the less 300 pounds and just the minimum of what we need we're doing great the truck is pulling and it's a 2500 truck you want your 2500 truck to work that's what it's made for you don't want to go over the limit but you do want your truck to work because it has to that's what it was intended to the gears and everything are intended to put it to work so put it to work don't just have it you know as an ornament and it's an ornament yeah exactly you have to put your truck to work so my it's truck is working and it's happy because it's not struggling like it did with the 28 foot trailer and that was a light trailer too okay guys taking off this morning it's a really beautiful morning here I always look back to see if the trailer is following me because it's just a habit that I have you know of always looking behind me to see if um if the trailer is following me.